what is the thing? Welcome everyone. Sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. I got the flu this past week and I'm just now getting over it. Once again, I'm traveling to a new and exciting adventure. This time to see the mystery of the desert. We have to make our way through this tropical forest on our way to our gate at the airport. This is pretty cool. They changed this tunnel to something neat to see in here. My dad did want to see Mexico. There it is, down below. You might be able to make out the Rio Grande, separating the U.S. and Mexico. We have arrived at the, at the Arizona desert. Welcome to Tucson on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The plane ride was long. And I'm pretty hungry. Where should we go for lunch? Here's a good place. A really good place. We needed to be in Phoenix later that afternoon, but several accidents closed the interstate, making a 90 minute drive into a four hour ordeal. But we did get there. Dada took a 13.1 mile tour of Phoenix the next morning. Then we headed back east to see the mystery of the desert. I like this rock formation in the distance on the right. Another beautiful day, a little warm, 80 degrees, and very, and very, very dry out. Now back in Tucson. But we are briefly heading south toward Nogales on a, new, on a unique road. This is Interstate 19, the only interstate in the co country that still uses the metric system. Very unusual. The speed limits are still in miles per hour, but the exit numbers and distance markers are in, kil in kilometers. Nogales is at the Mexican border. No time for that. We need to resume our drive east toward a remote part of Arizona. Halfway between Phoenix and El Paso is our destination. The thing. As we get closer, the yellow billboards become more frequent, leading us to the thing. Not much else here. 
It's time to see what all the fuss is about. Almost at the thing, and the scenery is getting much more beautiful. This is Texas Canyon, not too far from New Mexico. Check out these beautiful boulder formations. Absolutely beautiful in this part of Arizona. Almost at the thing. This was remodeled a couple years ago. Let's check this place out. Some of the old wood creatures still on display at the entrance. Lordling, I need your help. My alien enemies are threatening to annihilate Earth. This secret code will help you to defeat their evil plans. Write this down. Are you ready? B U Y I C E C R E A M. Five ice cream. <laughs> I hope you got that secret code from me, Jose, from Raytheon Prime. It's not coming out. <laughs> there it is. The entrance to the thing. It costs five dollars per person or ten dollars per family. What if we are not alone in this universe? Whoa. 50 years of research that says history books are lies. I need to tell Mr. Hamill. Aliens put dinosaurs under mind control? Wow. What if what you are about to see is true? This dinosaur moves his eye as I move. This is weird stuff. The aliens came back to take over the Earth.
both stands are still here. Look, looks like they made their home inside caves. And here are some bones from a great battle. battle between the aliens and the dinosaurs. <laughs> the final battle. The aliens ordering the attack on the Earth by, se by sending an asteroid to eliminate all life on Earth. Human history as we know it is a lie. <laughs> now taking us through human civilization and how the aliens have affected it. Did aliens help us with industry and technology? Did the aliens affect World Wars 1 and 2? I'm taking notes. I'm sure I'll have some classes in world history soon, and this will help me get a good grade. Everything I thought I knew. Wow. What if we descended from aliens? And they control our minds.
and abducted Elvis Presley. Wait, that's not true. In Men in Black, I learned that Elvis just went home. And I believe Tommy Lee Jones. And have been here all along. The Roswell alien landing. Area 51. Here it is. The thing. Right around the corner. My God, it's a strange hat wearing creature and it's child. Zoom in it a little bit to get a closer look. Not quite human. What is it? At least the hat is in the right place. One last look. The thing and its child. Like all visitors to this place, I was directed to buy stuff from the gift shop. A little bit of everything here. The thing even has its own drinking water. Wow. Now let's quickly go over what we got at the gift shop. So first on the list, we had this cute little alien plushie. Well, he's not really little, because they had one smaller than him there. But yeah, we got the cute little alien plushie. Um, put you back there. My mom got this really nice thing mug. I think this is the same one that Justin Scarred got. It has the eyes on here, and then it has the thing, and then it has the address for the thing on the back, I believe. Yeah, that's right. And then, we, of course, got the thing, the mystery of the desert t-shirt in both blue and yellow. Don't know if you can actually see the logo there or not. Heading back west. A beautiful sunset at this rest area where, where we saw the boulder landscape earlier. We headed back to Tucson for dinner to go to a famous Mexican restaurant. Mina Dito. Visited by many famous people, such as Adam Richman from Man Vs. Food. President Clinton ate here. They have a president's plate on the menu.
This is like your chair. It's cool. Huh. Here's our food. Shredded beef plate, green chili enchiladas, nachos. All delicious. And that's it from our long weekend in southern Arizona. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye!